In today's video, I'll be going over 25 crochet videos that I want to do in 2024. What's going on guys? It's your girl Hibba. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And I'm back with another video. Yes, honey. Yes. So if you're new to my channel, my, cro my page is based around crochet, mainly crochet fashion, but I try to do everything crochet, but my main focus is everything is my main focus is crochet fashion. So as you can see from the title, in this video, I'll be going over 25 crochet projects that I want to do in 2024. So I kind of broke down the different things that I want to do in three different categories. So the three categories I broke, well, actually kind of broke it down into four categories, but the last category only is only two items, so whatever. Four categories, so I did accessories, clothes, um, house decor, home, well, home decor, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, I think I'm saying it right. So yeah, I broke it down into those four, those, you know, four items because um, that's just how I did it because it was a lot of everything in everything. It's like, no, but, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Before we even start this video, go subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post all of my videos. I post every single day. I post a short every day. I try to post a short every day and then I post a long form video once a week. Yeah. So stay tuned. And y'all, these are things that I really, really wanted to crochet years prior, especially last year. It's a lot of things that I wanted to crochet in 2023, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm going to really really try to um you know complete it this year and i'm gonna buckle down and you know really get it done so the first item that i have on my list is a scrap hat so i'm not sure if you guys seen like if you're a crochet fan and you like crochet you've seen those um hats that have like different colors and it's, it's like literally it looked like it's made from scrap yarn so i've been wanting to make that since the ever since i saw it like two years ago but i just never did um i just love like the cut like the different color schemes that people people be using um and i love like the fringes and like the excess tail like how the tails be like hanging out of the yarn it's just it looks messy but it also looks put well put together and it looked like it's supposed to be like that um but yeah that's why i wanted to make it uh the second um so the second accessory that I have on my list is those messy distressed hats and I don't even know if it's crochet. I think it's like factory made but it looks like it's crochet um, and I looked it up. I didn't see it but what I'm going to do is how I'm going to make it is I'm going to just buy like the fluffy yarn like the I'm going to just show it to you show it to y'all that fluffy yarn and then I'm going to just make a beanie out of it simple. The third thing I have on my list is the granny square bag and I literally love these things like every time I see them I am in love with them they literally go well with a lot of things because it's a lot of colors in the crochet granny bag well the ones that I've seen they have like different colors in it and you can wear different cut like different schemes color schemes with the bag so that's why I, I like it so much and I don't really make a lot of granny square things I don't think I've actually made a granny square before. Literally, I've never made a granny square. I didn't start off making granny squares. Um, I I started crocheting just, you know, starting off with like, um, you know, making like scarves and blankets and stuff like that, straight crochet. But I want to make something like a granny square and the bag would definitely do it justice. Uh, the next thing I have is a crochet travel bag. I need a bag you know, in my closet that I use for my crochet. Cause when I go out, I'll take my crochet stuff and I always have a book bag. Let me show y'all. I always have this big old book bag and it looks dingy. It looks not well put together, especially it don't be going with my outfits or nothing like that. So a cute, you know, travel bag for my yarn would definitely, you know, make my outfit a little bit better as opposed to bringing this big old book bag with me but yeah so um i also want to do more car decor i have done some last last year in 2023 but i want to really start um doing a lot of car decor because and um, i said it in my last video that i thought that 
car decor was gonna go like berserk but i like it was gonna go wild um and it, i was gonna make all these sales and stuff like that but it didn't and only because i didn't push it how i should have and i didn't make as many as i should have didn't make different colors and stuff like that but if i really you know um focus on making the car decor and making a lot of it and promoting it a lot it's gonna sell because they cute as heck super cute like and the yarn that i use is just oh yeah i don't know why i made that noise ah it's just ah oh it's like no it'll be something coming over me i don't know what's wrong with me y'all sorry that wasn't supposed to happen um the next thing that i have is keychains so i do have some keys that i be irked um taking out of my bag just because it don't look cute i don't know i just always want things to look super cute so i want to make like you know a keychain to put onto my keys to make it you know eye appealing for myself uh, another thing that I have on my list are socks and this is something that I want to make personally for myself I don't make myself a lot of things um and so socks is definitely something that I love like I need I need it's something that I need um so I want to make a pair of socks uh because I wear my Uggs all year round I have like one pair of Uggs that I wear like every day because they're so comfortable um and on the cold days, I be wearing socks. But on the days that's not super, super cold, I don't wear socks at all. That was like TMI. I don't know why I just told y'all that. But I just thought I would. I th just thought I should. I don't know. But yeah. Um, I was getting off sidetracked there. What was I saying? Oh yeah. But those socks that I be seeing like people make, they are like super thick. So I want to I wanna make like the socks with like the thin yarn. So I can wear with my boots. Um, and it's not going to be like hard to put on my feet. But yeah, uh, another thing that I have for accessories is um, a fanny pack. So I've been wanting to make a fanny pack for about because I wear. All right, I've been hmm, about like six years now, about six years. So I carry a fanny pack with me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I don't carry a um, a pocketbook. Sometimes I do. Like if I go out, I'll carry like a pocketbook. But this is my fanny pack right here. And I'm tired of it because it looks like how my book bag looks. It looks dingy. And it's just plain and black and, you know. But I need my fanny pack. Like, my fanny pack, it has a lot of necessities in here. And I, um, yeah, I'm tired of wearing that just black fanny pack. It's getting old now. So I need, like, a, a sturdy, you know, crochet fanny pack. And I'm going to line it with, like, you know, some sturdy inside. So that way, if I put too much, if I, you know, if I put too much in it, it ain't going to, like, you know, um, sag down. But that was it for the accessories. Boop. The next, um, the next category that I have is clothes. And, you know, I'm super excited to, like, you know, go over the clothes because that's my thing that's what i do okay don't play with her don't play with her. <laughs> Woo! all right so the first item that i have for clothes is oh my god okay so here's a, a, a story this over these oversized um sweaters that everybody have been making i saw them and i didn't think I never thought to make it. I never thought. Like, I always thought, I was like, oh, that was cute. That's cute. But I always want to be different. And I don't want to, like, you know, always make things that other people make. Sometimes I hop on the trend, but sometimes I don't. These were one of the trends that I didn't hop on. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't. So, two weeks ago, my cousin, um, Kia, shout out to you, boo. She um, sent me, like, three girls that wanted the oversized. I think it's called the Hope Macaulay, um crochet sweater and one of them bought one one of them um purchased one i'm in the process of making it now and i'm like i'm gonna start making these like why not people like them i like them you know they're cute but the thing is i probably i think the the reason that i think i didn't make it because it's hand crochet and i didn't want to challenge myself it's hand knitted i mean you have to like it's knitted by hand and i didn't want to challenge myself but this but i'm like i'm challenging myself this year and that's on it, okay? 2024 is a new year, better things, new challenges, you know, challenge yourself. So I, you know, I took the order and um, 
I'm charging, I charged them 370, well I charged the girl 375 for hers because she wanted a hood with it. But, um, and her, um, I think, I don't know if it's her family member or not. And I, um, I basically think I was going to charge, um, um, charge her probably like $20 less because she's not getting a hood. But like after her, the orders that I get, um, after these two, I think I'm going to charge 500 just because it's worth 500 literally it's so cute it's um and i have a video on why i charge a lot for my stuff mainly this specific um crochet this specific crochet coat that i made i, I charged two thousand dollars um for it and i have a video i'm gonna tag it down below i'm gonna tag it in the description um and i tell y'all why it's two thousand dollars and not what y'all want me to charge it for okay but yeah, um, another item that, I mean, another uh, piece that I want to make is one of those long sleeve bolero tops. And those things are super cute. I see like, that's like something that's trending that I didn't hop on either. Um, and I'm going to hop on it this year. They super cute. It's like a mesh type of crochet, like long sleeve crop top. It'd be super cute. And they have the ones that's not crop top too, but I love the ones that are crop top. You can wear like different color shirts under it and different things like that. Another uh, one that I have are crochet sets. Now, I don't have any like specific set that I want to make, but I do want to make some more like because I, I used to make a lot of crochet sets, but I want to make more more crochet sets. Uh, I want to get back into that. And yeah, then another one is I want to um, make more bathing suits. I had a photo shoot of bathing suits and I lost the footage. And this is why I want to do, you know, I want to make um, baby suits because I lost my footage that I had, what, three years ago, I think, on the beach. Um, and so I want to make some more uh, baby suits in the summertime. Another uh, item that I have on my list are dresses. I don't have any specific dress that I want to make, but I know I want to make gowns. Um, and I don't know if you guys know, like my ultimate goal is to have a dress on, you know, at the Met Gala or like on a red carpet somewhere. Um, and you know, how can I do that without making dresses? So I have to make some type of dresses this year. I didn't make any, uh, did I make any last year? I'm not going to lie. Cause I don't know if I made anything any last year, but I'm in the process of making my sister. Oh yeah. Yes, I did. I started my little sister's re um, birthday gown last year and I'm finishing it this year i didn't finish it yet but i'm gonna finish it um and then i'm gonna make like three more so um i have uh my list on my list on my list on my list halloween costumes o -M -G. O -M -G. so i wanted to make halloween costumes last year 2023 i wanted to make two um halloween costumes i wanted to make the harley quinn like a harley quinn like my version you know costume and i wanted to make like a bad girl you know um costume too but i don't know i just didn't get around to it it's a lot of things that i didn't get around to and that was one of them um oh one of my favorite that i definitely i'm definitely going to make this this year are the ruffle hats it's like a trendy hat that i've been seeing on instagram tiktok and everything like that and everybody's been making them so i'm gonna hop on that trend as well and i'm gonna make one of the ruffle hats um and that was it for i think that was it yeah that was mm, yeah, that was it for the clothes and the fashion side of it. I did all the accessories, did all the clothes. Now, I want to tell y'all, um, the next thing is... Mm -hmm. I got like three things for the miscellaneous one. And the first one I have is a laptop cover. And this is something that I really need. It's something that I, you know, I need for my laptop. Because I carry my laptop everywhere. Um, this is it right here. It's always with me in my book bag with my crochet stuff. Um, so, you know, that's something that I need. Uh, another thing for miscellaneous are, um, plushies. So, I've been trying to get into the plushie world and the plushie content and everything, but I just, it, it just 
not resonating with me. It's not hitting it. It's not hitting like the, the fashion is. But this year, I'm going to try to make more plushies and, you know, just challenge myself. Um, I've, I made um, an Eagles flush, um, plushie for last year and I made my son a dinosaur plushie. And he really liked it. I really liked the Eagles, you want, the Eagles plushie. And I'm like, why not? People like plushies. Why not make them? Um, and the last miscellaneous one is um, like a my like a boss. I don't. I want to say like like a boss display. Okay, so I saw that this um, this lady did a like a boss blanket, right? And she had different um, squares, and she made different things. I'm gonna show y'all. For example, she made different. Um, before I show y'all, I'm gonna tell you. She made different. Um, each square had a different theme on it, right? But but overall, the whole blanket was things that a boss would have, uh, a female boss would have. Let me show y'all real quick. Something like this. And this kind of motivated me to, to do that. Um, I was making a video about, you know, how to make money with crochet, and I made this to, you know, do with the video but um i think you know i want to make probably like a display that i can put on my wall uh and like she made like heels a crown money sign um what else like just different boss like things right and i'm gonna definitely have that on my i mean i definitely i definitely have that on my list to complete uh that was it for the miscellaneous. So the next category that I have is home decor things. Um, and this is something that I kind of want to do for, because I live with my mom and my sister. And it's not plain in here, but it could use a little, you know, a little, you know how people say a little, a little oomph. It could lose a little. So the first thing that I want to make are is like an area rug. Um, and not like super big, but like, you know, an area rug where it kind of makes the area look cute, right? So the second thing I want to make is like a blanket or a few blankets. Um, and I've just been wanting to make, cause I've never like made a full blanket. Like I've like started blankets and did like had made it halfway. So I decided to make it like a baby blanket. But I've never made like a full grown blanket. And I definitely want to accomplish that this year. And yeah. And I also want to make a temperature blanket. And those temperature blankets are just like a blanket that you make all year round. And you use and you pick the yarn. Um like determine like what the weather is. That's the color that you use. So like the if, if it's like, you know, um, leaves falling down and stuff like that you'll use like orange or brown and stuff like that but yeah i want to do that and then i also want to make a couch throw which is kind of like a blanket um just to make the couch look a little bit cute um it's kind of plain right now as you can see i'm on the couch right now and it's kind of plain um i want to put like maybe like a throw a throw blanket on there to decorate it a little bit and another thing is i want to do pillows more pillows so maybe like a pillow cover that i could um cover this like have a cover for the pillows um and put it on top of the pillow maybe do it like every other one will have like a cover on it another thing that i want to do is oh okay so i want to make some roses um with like a stem on it um and i got this idea because my mom my birthday had just passed a week ago and my mom bought me some roses and i put it on if y'all can see can y'all see let me zoom in that's my desk right there that's all like where i work at and stuff like that let me zoom in but i put them on my desk and they're dead guys no Aww. they're dead so let me, let me come back come back y'all come back come back come back come back come back but yeah i'm like oh no they're dead so i decided that i'm gonna crochet because it looks so beautiful it like completes like my desk or whatever um and 
um i, I decided to that i'm gonna make some i'm gonna crochet some roses and put it in the vase with um yeah put it in the vase so that way you don't have to buy any more flowers and they won't die they'll always be alive and yeah but yeah okay another thing that i want to uh make my camera about to die last thing i have is um Oh, a beanie bag. I want to make a beanie bag for my son. My son sits in this little chair that his grandma bought him and it's getting kind of like old and dirty. So I kind of want to make him like a beanie bag where he can sit on the floor, watch TV, eat his little snacks and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm rushing because my camera about to die. And yeah, but that completes all of, you know, my um, things that I want to crochet in 2024. And I am going to do it. I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm going to do every single thing that I wrote on my list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post all of my videos. And stay tuned for my upcoming videos as well. Bye! I would like to get to know